All right, here we go, guys. I had so much fun playing Carrick's the last match. I decided we're going to play him again. And, yeah, we're pretty much probably going to do the same shenanigans. Now, with me being spawned third in the line, we can actually have some time to build up our front line and everything. So, let's get our turrets down. And we got a Protoss um, bunker, so my shield battery is definitely going to be very effective. Alright, Dehaka versus Dehaka. What kind of, um... Let's take... Life Regen. That way, Sentinels on top are reconstruct. We're going to basically be healing 18 life a second, which is going to be really good. That'll make these, uh... Make our units kind of a little bit more beefy. Like, armor would be good for, like, raw mitigation. But when you got Life Regen... Life regen can definitely out, out DPS heal armor. Like, because armor would just stop two flat damage, where eight life regen will not only stop two damage, it'll also heal you for an additional six as you play. So, definitely work better. And it kind of heals through Nova a little, too. Look at that. That's beautiful. And with Sentinels being mechanical, the only thing um, Spec Ops would do versus them is uh, drain their shields. Definitely a good, good setup so far. I do not want the gas just yet. I'm going to do a couple more Sentinels. Even though if Nova goes shotgun, we're going to be kind of screwed a little bit, but I think we can make this work. Let's get Reconstruct and Defensive Speed, just to be safe. We got a double Rainer? No, we got a Nova. Rainer's going T2, so we'll have scans. Perfect. Look at these flamethrowers. I'm gassing. And then we're going to T2. I want to get some options. There we go. Yeah, that life regen, that helped a lot because, did you see, she shotgunned us, and then we healed through it, going back into the next. All right, let's get one Energizer, just so we have a little attack speed bonus. Oh, Zerglings versus Flamethrowers? Probably, is that, oh, I was going to say, no way he went super good right off the bat. Uh, they're losing red. I was kind of wondering what was going on. Though the fire bats will be very good versus this. And the good thing is, fire bats are armored. So, their rangers will not do bonus damage, which is even better. Now, my sentinels, on the other hand, are going to get a, um, get their butt handed to them. But, like I said, I'm not too worried just yet. We got T2 coming, so we got plenty of time. They're going to have increased respawn rates, but we can still kind of play through it. Let's put this on this. Light Marine should be able to take this out. They, only, they have a lot of hit points, though. That's the problem. But Fire Bats will smoke them. Cause that's 12 damage versus light. Even more when he techs him up. There we go. I'm scanning just to be on the safe side. Wait, why did I just scan? Rainer could have scanned. Alright, I don't... I want to see how we do before I spawn anything. We don't need to blow the minerals right off the bat. Those lurkers are going to be a pain. So let's get the shield battery down over here. I could drop a crap ton of um, annihilators. That's shadow cannons and anti-armor. We'll take devour. 
I actually want to put the Energizer over here for the Annihilators. And I'm going to do one more Energizer just to be safe. And if we're lucky, I can get Shadow Tech before we hit the front line. Yeah, that's 50 versus armor. There we go. Shadow cannons are definitely going to help cut through this. Oh, Tilda Hockey eats one. I got a beam. I'm not going to use it just yet. I'm going to use it right on top of them. Like, even though they're burrowed, I can still burn. Perfect. Let's do another Annihilator. Let's get that third gas. And then... Yeah, let's get the third gas and then we're going to go T3. We need more damage. Colossus will do a lot versus this. Like, Nova's Rangers are expensive, but Colossus can definitely burn this. Can I get the Hockey to eat a Lurker? Yes, perfect. Go take the Bunker. All we need is one good shot from the Annihilators on it. Boom. Oh, heavy siege. Okay, yeah, definitely T3 in. Get some carriers. We'll do like a Colossi and then a carrier. I'm not even going to tech up the uh, orbital strike yet because we don't need it. Like, we don't need it initially is what I mean. Because there's only like one or two of them in the field. Yeah, there's one. We'll have the second one in 25 seconds. So, we don't need to actually speed up and make them stun and do damage yet. Because this would just, uh, what is it? Stunned enemy for one second? Yeah, there's no point with just one of them. All right, give me detection. Wait. Oh, he just... Okay, I was going to say, what happened? Alright, put another one of these here. Right, let's get this first one down. Now, I am definitely teching them up. Normally, I try not to tech up units until after I get like three of them or so. But, fire beam and ignite damage is very, very beneficial. We don't have enough energizers yet for me to justify getting control units yet. Like, maybe if we do like two more energizers, I'll get that tech. Because 125 minerals will let me spawn half of an annihilator. Definitely want to make sure we kill these. And there's the next rage quit. Okay. Let's actually, I want to do a more sync line like this. Now, if he play, if Nova plays her cards right, she could stack the all hell and back. Yeah, my fire beam's doing 20 damage, plus 150 on the ignite, yeah. Obliterate. I want to do one more... Oh, come on! That sucks. I'm sorry, I'm calling bullshit on that one. I'll give you guys another Karax match on top of this one. All right, be back in a flash. All right, we're back, and you know what? I am actually having a blast playing Karax this week. Like, normally I'm not a big fan of this character, but God, he is so much fun to play. 
I mean, he's got a low, he's got a good mixture of both anti-air and anti-ground, but man, late game, his carriers, you start spamming everything, it goes absolutely bonkers, as you guys are going to be seeing throughout the episodes I get uploaded this week. Definitely fun. I am enjoying this. Give me, ooh, attack speed. No-brainer. Give me attack speed. Yeah, that's... Mm, Brings us under one one attack a second. Perfect. With Energizer stacked, oh man, it's going to be even more deadly. I'm actually thinking I'm only going to do a handful of Energizers this time. Or Sentinels this time. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What am I up against? Oh, we're up against a Tychus. And we got a... And we got Honor Guards, too. We are definitely going to have a lot of um anti-armor possibilities. I mean, Sentinels are definitely going to be good versus Tychus early game. Yeah, they double Tychus. So, based on what they spawn, uh, we're going to need Carriers and Colossies. Annihilators will be good versus armored units, but Sentinels could also get some early game damage in. If they go Blaze, we might have an issue. Uh, I'm going to push the Gas in T2. Yeah, Drill is definitely going to get um, an edge on Tychus really fast. I'm going to do weapons. Drill's going to start tapering off if it locks on the Dahaka. Uh, give me a regen. Can I take the bunk? Can we take it? Come on, one more whirly twirly on it. Kill that Nakir. All right, there goes the bung. Sentinels energize that. Good shield. Whirly twirlies are gonna punch through. I need shield battery down now. <laughs> Don't need that yet. Give me one more energizer. Let's get some more sentinels going. Give me roar for sure. Can I get weapons? Let me be more punchy. Come on, weapon me. I'm gonna beam Tychus in a second. Now. Oh, that didn't work too well with the cure healing. 
But at least it ate up a little over heal cycles. Come on, kill nuts. Alright, now he's just got those. Alright, we're gonna pop out a couple of Annihilator. Let, oh, screw that. Let's get the gas in T3. We need carriers. Like, this is gonna hold Tychus. I'm gonna need carriers or something big for the Haka. Colossi's too. If we start getting Zergling spam. Yeah, I see igniters. We're gonna have to deal with that. The drill helps. Like a drill is definitely gonna help melting those Dahakas. Can't believe there these little things are actually shooting. Oh, Dahaka. Tempest, perfect. That's gonna be good damage. Science vessels, perfect. Alright, there goes Tychus. This drill T3. Nope, he's still T2. He's got Mutos coming. It's okay, the irradiates are gonna help. If you guys are enjoying this, hit that subscribe button. Help promote my channel. Link it in the forums. Give me some good reviews if you enjoy it. I want to hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas, and only you guys can help me do that. It really would mean a lot to me. That would be the best Christmas present ever. Nice! We're still pushing. Ah, he's got Blaze now. Alright, that's T3. Literally, I can get a damn, uh, uh, can I put this here? Do we have enough room to put the big one up in front? Let me actually put that here. I'll put this here. I'm going to start the carrier spam. I'm going to give Energizers the ability to take control of mech. Oh, actually, we don't need to be take control of mechs. There are no mechs. Carrier. This shall be a reckoning. We're not at the 10 minute mark yet. Twirly twirlies. Super Nakir healing is just brutal. At least the shield battery is healing the carriers. Or not the carriers, the Tempest. I'm gonna need a Colossi too, I think. Can we kill Nux? Oh yeah, that thing's really shooting. How much is that? That's 100 damage? That's pretty good. Charge! Carriers aren't going to be as oomphy yet because I haven't even done weapons yet. But we're going to max roar. That should... 50%. Yeah. And that should be fire breath. Perfect. And we're gonna do the first weapon upgrade. It's six damage now. If he's gonna go all Sam's, he might be in for an ass whooping. I'm gonna beam the Dahaka. Right on top of the Mutos. That's where we really need the, the firepower. Alright, 
Can we get some carrier power going and take us? Nice. There goes Nuxie. Colossi, let's get another Energizer. I'm gonna put an Observer down just to be safe. Let's get the gas. Let's get beams. Alright, we got enough orbital strikes so we can start stunning. And then we're gonna max weapons for air only. Not bad. That was good teamwork. That was phenomenal teamwork. We had a good combo, too. I'm not going to lie. This was a very, very good combo to kill a double Tychus and a Dahaka. I mean, we'll check the score screen out, but I don't think there's going to be much to it. So, good game. Good game. Yeah, we're versus Tychuses, so <laughs> we're not really going to have big numbers. All right, guys. See you at the next one.